We have recently gotten a miracle by the gods themselves saying, you know what? Let's get Bill Clinton on the record, basically narking on himself. What? He likes him young, they say. Let's get to it. Remember, this is, in, this is in reaction to Bill Clinton being on the list for Jeffrey Epstein's Black Book, but also that he's quoted as saying that he likes them young. So we'll see what he says. Any comments on the alleged allegation of your connection with Jeffrey Epstein? So, of course, this lets you need to know. I mean, this lets you know everything you need to know about this Bill Clinton character. Apparently, he's known for having these perverse inclinations. And what's even worse is that he's saying that the evidence is clear. Not necessarily snitching on himself, but just saying like, okay, you've got your evidence. I know I'm not going to get anything in jail. And think about it. He's like 80 years old and he still doesn't give a shit about going to jail because he's like he already got his nut, you know, and it's crazy. It's like so basically he's saying, you know what? You have what you have on me, but nothing's going to happen. And that's basically how confident he is. That there's this whole Chomo scandal about this guy that he was friends with for years, but it's not going to you know, malign him at all or his wife or anybody around him. And for years, we have this Clinton conspiracy over Huma Abedin and the Pizzagate thing and everything like that. There's a lot of conspiracies. But for none of these, basically, to tar, Bill Clinton just is a testament to why he's so cocky. And so just think about that. Imagine if Ron DeSantis or any other conventional politician were to be confronted with such big news. They'd be terrified. Bill Clinton looks at the camera and says, ah, the evidence is clear. The evidence is clear. That's crazy to me. Why is that crazy? Because now we're looking at someone who is sociopathic enough to know something is super stressful coming in and he just blows it off. But it's also because there's a foundation, a concrete sense of loyalty to his own success where he says, you know what? Fuck these other kids. Who cares about the Jeffrey Epstein Island? I know that I'm not going to jail, so it's all good. That's his basic outlook. That explains everything he does. And so it's just a good character study as to how he acts. You guys, I, I would freak out if I were ever on a list like that, but he's so confident that he didn't do anything illegal, or at least it wasn't caught, and it's not in court. And so he's good. Blackmail-wise, uh, blackmail he's perfectly clean. Even though we've seen pictures of him getting massaged by young women, you know, probably like late teens, early 20s, which isn't really a bad thing, but it's to say like, okay, well, I mean, this is just a, you know, this is usually how they work them in. In the Epstein case, they would probably get like an adult to start massaging you, and then they start getting like a 16-year-old involved, and then all of a sudden – gets a little bit weird anyway the point being is that bill clinton basically snitches on himself saying you know what i'm free whatever it's like statue of limitations at this point which is really sickening because if he did actually touch a kid that'd be like really bad and they ought not to get away with that but you know what bill clinton he's him let him cook i don't know what to say he's a great president uh in a secular sense great economy in regards to the kid stuff and killing people that are his political opponents we don't know too much about that so anyway i'll see y'all in the next video adios